to breakthrough. That's the story of Milledgeville's Javon Bullard season with the Georgia Bulldogs, but it did come with some challenges. Even though Bullard helped the dogs finish on top again, he had a personal low along the way, but it never kept him from reaching his goals. A year ago, Javon Bullard returned to this stage at Baldwin High School as a national champion. With UGA, he was a true freshman defensive back, coming off a season as a backup. He was part of a defense that arguably was one of the most talented in Georgia's history, but not getting minutes on the field was hard to handle, and his high school coach, Jesse Hicks, could relate. I thought he would play a little bit more, but that's just, when you play in the SEC and you play on one of the best defenses in the country, you play on one of the best programs in the country, that says a lot that they wanted him. Bullard excelled at Baldwin High, earning a three-star rating as a recruit. After a year on special teams at UGA, the undersized underdog grew tired of being underestimated. He was ready for his breakout season. We were preaching, you, you got to be patient. You got to wait your turn just like everybody else. Javon's parents, James and Shonda, weren't surprised by their baby boy's performance. They knew his humility and faith would work in his favor once he earned a chance. When you remember when we, we had that first game in Atlanta and we were tailgating and we, it was a lot of us, a lot of our family and friends. And I said on a video, I said, the world is about to find out what we already know. Do you remember that? Exactly. College football fans soon caught on that the same Javon Bullard that starred on this field as a Baldwin Brave would excel between the hedges as one of the top dogs on defense this past season. But then adversity hunkered down. Javon was arrested and charged with a DUI. He was suspended for a game, but not only did he have to earn back his position, but he had to earn back his trust from his teammates, coaches, and family. It was hard, Marvin. There were hard days ahead. I was worried that I didn't know if I was going to get my son back after that. Do you understand what I'm saying? I was like, this is bigger than football. The brief time away, along with support from teammates, family, and coaches, was just what Javon needed to refocus make better decisions, and help the dogs win a second national championship. And boy, did he help. Bullard earned back-to-back -back MVPs along with teammate Stetson Bennett in the Peach Bowl and the national championship, bringing home another title to his hometown of Millersville to share with the people who never stopped believing in him. He's my son when you're screaming his name on the top of that mountain, and he's my son when he's in the valley. Now, I'm not going to tell you he was perfect because he's not. None of us are. Him but one perfect being, we know who that is. But at the end of the day, if there was a picture in a dictionary of a great football player, student athlete, Javon's picture ought to be in there. And as one season closes and another just months away, mom and dad say the best is yet to come. I just expect, as I always have, great things from him you know, whether he's on that field or just in life, period. And I don't think he's gonna, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed at all, at all. But he's gonna get that pick six this year. Yes, that's coming, <laughs> say that. He's getting that, that pick six this year. That's coming, <laughs> that's definitely coming. Yeah, keep that energy going. He got his first two interceptions in the natty last month. So yeah, keep that momentum going. Now, hot off the presses, Javon Bullard Day will be celebrated Saturday, March 11th with a parade through downtown Millsville and other events as well. What an awesome time to honor a hometown hero. Hopefully, big